hi and hello. You're welcome to another episode of um, I Mentor with Harkhangzil Kenny Mele. I'm a development and empowerment strategist and I'm also the spirit mentalist. Today we were talking about the secrets of time management. One of the fundamentals of physical existence is time. Okay, so, um, and this time has really plagued a lot of intellectuals because the various schools of thought as to what time really is, you know, and many people just come up with different assessments, you know, as to what they believe that time is. And with the break, um, the groundbreaking pursuit and advancement in science and technology, it actually brings us to the cognition that there's a whole lot about time that we don't um, really get to know. But I'm not really going into the quantum nature of time as it is. I just want to make you understand how you can engage time in a more um, productive way, you'd say. Okay, um, I'll start with this. The fact is that um, we all have 24 hours every day. Okay, at least that's what old science tells you. But I believe that the linear sense of time is not as rigid as uh, many people think. But um, I don't think we should get started with that um, today. But um, with the mastery of time management, you can actually make more than 24 hours use of your day. Okay, and when you tabulate all the things you've been able to do in a day, with the time it took you to do everything, um, you could actually sum it all up and you get to realize that it's more than 24 hours. This is, um, how, how is that possible? Okay, now here it is. This is how it's possible. Now, um, time is fluid. It, it, it's fluid in nature, which means that um, you can always bend it. Okay, and you can always make it fit into the system that makes it more productive. Um, however, because of another nature of time, which is the illusionary nature of time, People get wrapped in, in this mirage and that way time controls them. Okay, the truth of the matter is the moment we find ourselves being in the control of time, that means when time is controlling us, it means that we're not actually maximizing our existence. That's how it is. Okay, but the moment we dictate what time does for us, now that's when we're history makers. That's when we're change makers. And that's when we're actually doing something that makes the world better or better, as the case may be. Okay. Okay. Um. Today I'll be revealing to you a secret in time management. Okay, which uh, many high achievers have utilized for for so long. I I think it's a thing you can also begin to use. Right, and um, here are a few things you should get to know about time. Number one, time is multinatural. Okay, um, what I mean by time is multinatural is that time has different natures, just like um, um, the, there is a wave particle duality for people who are in the sciences to get to understand that. that um, the wave particle light is a wave, light is a particle, you know, and all of that. So that's, that's multinatural. So time cannot really be explained by one fundamental thing. It cuts across um, various things. And the understanding of this is going to be very fruitful, you know, in as we begin to, to go on. Now, um, also you need to understand that you must have noticed how time seems to slow down when you're bored, okay? And when you're always looking at your time thinking an hour is past and you get to realize it's just five minutes okay now time seems to slow down for that and sometimes when you're having fun it seems time is always flying okay now your mind plays a role in the perception of time in this vice and this perception is very important when you're trying to um, learn how to manage time as it were okay so that's the first thing time is a multinatural the second thing is that um, there is a use of inevitable process finality of time. I'm going to be slow with that, okay? There is the use of the inevitable process finality of time. So what does that jargon mean? Okay, now this is what it means. Okay, now um, this is going to be a game changer for you and uh, I'm going to show you how to use it, okay? You see, when it comes to the flow of time, you can change or better still, you can bend it. And this is how it, it's done. There's certain slots of time that are useless to you when you're idle, okay? Um, these are the time fragment, fragments that you can learn to, to know how to utilize them, okay? Um, for example, 
um, the time while you wait for something to be done, while you're waiting for something that you it's already in the process of being done, you can actually create something useful out of that. Okay, you can make sense with it. Okay, something that already has an estimated time of completion. For example, so instead of waiting idle for a process to be completed, you can use that waiting time to engage in something else. Okay, but here's the catch. What you do must be done within the window of the process of the previous event. Okay, I'm going to give you some pragmatics. For example, you're uploading a file into a cloud and you know it will take about a moment, let's say three minutes, to be complete. Now, during that process, instead of waiting idle for three minutes, not doing anything, you can actually make that three minutes count for something useful. Um, for example, you can use that time to do something like checking and responding to mails or checking your calendar or um, something quick, you know, that doesn't last more than the time it takes to upload the file. Now, this is very important and it's one of the things I teach people when it comes to spirit mentality. okay? Now, when you're working with time, you, you need to understand the fluid nature of time, okay? And you must learn how to maneuver and be very flexible with it. Now, the thing is, um, this takes training, okay, and, and discipline to perfect, to master it. But um, I can tell you, once you do, you realize that you have more time to do many things, okay? All you just have to do have to learn is to be to know how to efficiently segment your task and the time allotted for each task um, to be completed. Now, it's very important for you to learn how this goes on. Every time you're doing something and you're in the process and you realize that what you're doing can actually auto-run itself, that means you don't necessarily have to keep watching it till it gets to the face of completion. That moment, now that is the window that you can use to do something else. You can use it to meditate. You can use it to, to study, to read, you know. And when you realize, for example, you're supposed to upload a file for th that takes about an hour, okay? And once you click upload, you know, it's as long as there's good internet connection, it's going to run through itself on its own seamlessly. Now, you can't just wait and be watching the bars as it's upgrading, as it's completing. That's a total waste of time. Now, instead, while it's been uploading, you can actually start reading a book, you can go wash, you can eat, you know, you can do something. Now, when the day is over and um, you begin to log out how you use your time during the day, now, you will begin to cascade or intercept with time. For example, if it took one hour to upload a file on the cloud and within that one hour you used 30 minutes to read while it was uploading you used another 15 minutes to check something on your to-do list now you've actually got to realize that you've completed a task of one hour of 30 minutes and 15 minutes so in one hour of time you've actually used one hour and 45 minutes now when you log that continuously you know, and you're doing that over time, you get to realize that in a day, you actually get to do things that take more than 24 hours. Now, this is the skill that high achievers use to be more productive. That's why you see many people start up different businesses and you're like, how do they get it done? Okay, the principle is sometimes called juggling. Okay, you just give something enough time to push it for it to automate itself while you have time to focus on other things okay there are ways to learn how to go about this but the important thing is there is a psychological aspect of it there is a mental aspect of it because i remember remember i said something about the perception of time when it seems to be fast or slow now there is a sense that you must have psychologically or mentally that makes it easier for you to get these things done why because i've heard many people who come to me oh yes you said this it's kind of more difficult it sounds easier while you're saying it but to, to actually get it done it becomes very difficult the reason is you need to be in the right mental state to do that emotionally and psychologically even oftentimes spiritually too you know you need to have your acts together if i can say that you know and and put all of these things together i said something earlier about having a system in place 
Now that system has a lot to do with your psychological sense and the time it takes to segment each of those tasks and arranging them in the order of priority, there are lots of things involved. But as always, this is a knowledge sharing session. You know, so what I just try to do now is to push the knowledge out there to you so that you can understand and know that there are actually ways to be productive with your use of time, your events, and, and how you put all things together. So you can actually realize that in 24 hours, you actually get to use productively 30 hours in 24 hours. Now, that's a way to make time bend. That's a way to be flexible with time and that's the way to be more productive with time okay so it doesn't take rocket science really to get this done but you must be trained in it all right uh, i'm going to be stopping here today if you have questions or if you really want to get to know more about the pragmatics you can also always chat me up or comments below and i'll try to respond as soon as i can or if you want to take in more private and personal you can always mail me at heartangzelkeni at gmail.com. Okay, it's H-A-R-K-H-E-I-N-D-Z-E-L-K-E-N-N-Y at gmail.com. So you can ask your questions and you can actually um, secure an appointment. You know, we can get to talk and, and see how I can be of better help in making you more productive using your time. Now, imagine if you understand this earlier in life. You can actually... I've used a chronological time of 50 years, but you've been able to put productive use of about 60 years of time. You know, so this is how to bend time in your favor. I'm going to be ending today's I Mento session here today. If you have any questions or comments, you can actually um, get in touch with me and uh, I'll be glad to assist you all righty so to the next time you're gonna hear from me or to the next time i'm going to hear from you i'll always say this you have just one life to live so why not make the best possible version of that life possible and one way to do that is by maximizing your time management now this is the secret of time management that many high achievers use why not take that time to start early and learn how to maximize yourself. My name is Hakang Zel Kenny Millay. I'm a development and empowerment strategist and also the spirit mentalist. And this is me signing out on today's I Mentor session saying, enjoy your life and make it a productive one. Have a wonderful day.